Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Sunday and welcome back to another session of our online Sunday school. As God's children, it is important to take some time every Sunday to reflect, pray and discover the wonders of God's word together. Before we begin, shall we open with a word of prayer? I would like you to bow your head, close your eyes, fold your hands and repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for today that we are able to share some time together to explore and learn about your word of life. Thank you for the gift of the Bible. Please help us to have open minds, attentive eyes, listening ears and receptive hearts as we explore today's story about your creation and how it is wonderful and perfect for us and the creatures. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Awesome. Before we go into today's Bible story, shall we sing a song? It is one of my favorite songs. It is called, I Will Sing of the Mercies of the Lord. I'm sure you know this song already, so let's get right into it. Three, two, one. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever, I will sing. I will sing. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. With my mouth will I make known thy faithfulness, thy faithfulness. With my mouth will I make known thy faithfulness to all generations. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. With my mouth will I make known thy faithfulness, thy faithfulness. With my mouth will I make known thy faithfulness to all generations. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. Indeed, children, our God is a merciful God. So let us remember to share this message to every single person that we meet whenever we can. And let us proclaim his faithfulness for as long as we live. Today's Bible story is about how God has made a wonderful home for us and all his creatures. And this Bible story was taken from the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verses 1 to 25. When the whole world began, God had a plan to create the heavens and the earth and make a home for man. So God began to speak. Let there be light. Darkness disappeared and all became bright. When everything separated as it should, God smiled and said, It is good. God saw water everywhere. He told the water where it needed to be. He sent some to the sky to become clouds, and he kept some on earth to become the sea. When the water separated as it should, God smiled and said, It is good. Now the whole earth was covered with water. God told the water to move back. Land appeared with trees and plants of many colors, with vegetables, fruits, and nuts to crack. When everything separated as it should, God smiled and said, 
It is good. Got me. Lights to rule the sky. During the day, the sun would shine bright. At night, the stars would sprinkle the sky. And the moon would rule the darkness and give the land light. When everything shone where it should, God smiled and said, it is good. The seas were empty and needed life. So God made fish to swim in the water everywhere. The skies were empty and needed life. So God made the birds to swoop and fly throughout the air. When everything lived where it should, God smiled and said, It is good. Then God filled the land with all kinds of animals, size and shapes and definitions. Then God created the most important thing of all. God made man and woman and gave them dominion. When everyone lived where they should, God smiled and said, It is good. Then God looked over all his creation. He admired the heavens, the land, and the sea. He rested because everything was as it should be. God smiled and said, it is good. Remember, remember, God created a wonderful home for us and all his creatures. Indeed. Have you ever thought about how wonderful the earth is? The world became home for garden spiders that make sticky webs. Jumping kangaroos that feed on grass, fish that dart among coral reefs, and sharp-eyed eagles with bulky nests on cliffs or in trees. God made, what God made was good, and every creature had a place to call home that was uniquely suited for it. Today's Bible verse comes from Psalm chapter 104, verse 24. O Lord, how manifold are your works! In wisdom have you made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Psalm 104, verse 24. Now let's go into our first catechism. Who made you? The answer is very simple. God. What else did God make? God made all things. Question three. Why did God make you and all things? For his own glory. Question four. How can you glorify God? By loving him and doing all his commands. Question five. Why are you to glorify God? Because he made me and takes care of me. Indeed, God loves us. He made us and he did not just leave us be. But he takes care of us every day and every minute of our lives. Amen. Now let us close in prayer. I want you to bow your head, close your eyes and repeat after me. Dear God, Thank you for creating such a beautiful and wonderful home for us on earth to explore and enjoy. You are truly a magnificent God. Now let's sing doxology together. Three, two, one. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above, ye heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. 
Amen. Remember, God made a wonderful home that is perfectly suited for each of his creatures. Goodbye until next time.